Hello there guys, Jesper Grip here for Creative.com and today I'm going to bring you a tutorial from the comment field. Uh, we got a request for a lightning tutorial and I'm going to show you two ways of doing lightning and while I'm doing lightning I'm also going to show you two ways of doing a smoke effect because it's pretty close to each other actually. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. But start off with the lightning effect. Uh, we just make a normal line here, press shift so it gets straight. Uh, we select it as a white color and then after that we just go into Desort and Wave we rasterize it and we select bef between 5 and 8 generators and max value of 240 here on Wavelength and press Randomize and you get a squiggly line like this you d then press J, Control J and then Control Alt F and then Randomize and you keep doing this for a uh, for a while, Control J, Control F, randomize, Control J, Control F, randomize. Remember to press randomize every time, otherwise you're just gonna get the same effect twice, and it, it's just gonna be two layers with the same effect. So, uh, and then Control F, randomize, and this is basically a way of getting, you know, a lightning effect. And then Control J again, Control F, randomize. And then you can change also the like, for example, if you want the num uh, number of ra ra uh, generators to change, you can change that also to get a more of a, you know, random effect to the lightning. But yeah, as you see here, this looks pretty good as lightning. You can choose, you can you, you do this pretty much any way you want. You can move this around, do anything you want. So that's a good way of doing a lightning. It's fast and it's a pretty good beam, you know. And then after that, I'm going to show you now right away to do a shadow uh, smoke effect because it's basically the same. So let's start off with a white like that. And we go to s uh, filter, distort, and we're going to wave as before. Yes. And randomize. And instead of pressing Control J now, we can press Control Shift F or go to edit and fade wave. And we press around 50. And there we go, and then Control Shift randomize again, and then 50 randomize, 50 randomize, 50, and this we just keep doing until we get the desired effect. Randomize. <laughs> Randomize, and as you see now we have a pretty decent smoke. Let's do it one more time, like that. And then you just, if you want it to be brighter, you just Control J and du duplicates, and you get another smoke. So this is a good way of doing a smoke. And now I'm going to show show you the other way of doing a lightning. We're just gonna take a gradient first gradient tool and we're just gonna make it over like this uh, and then we're going to go to filter we're going to go into uh, render and different difference clouds and there we go as you see here we get a little bit of a squiggly line here and then we press control I and we then go into our image adjustment and we go to levels you then put here up here this is the black color you pull that down, you want to get rid of as much of gray as possible, so we're gonna pull this down and you see here we get rid of the gray and we're gonna stay around here, something like that, something, still a little gray here and then we're gonna take this, the gray tool and we're gonna pull that down to give it a bit more contrast to our so-called lightning so this is basically how you do that and now we have a lightning here and then you can just after that you can just paint over these areas you don't want or you could take you know like this selection tool and we can just take this part and we can then control CV and we can move this and uh, put it on select uh, screen sorry and then you can just you know add it into your li existing lightning and you can get a cool lightning effect of this uh, yeah so that's how you do that lightning then and you know, you, know, you can also actually go into uh, just so you guys know how to do colors on this hue saturation and then you press colorize and then you just pull this and you get you, you know like here blue effect so that's how you do that 
and then we delete these. And now I'm going to show you the last way of doing smoke. This is the most complicated, I think. Uh, so we're just gonna take here white there, white there, go to filter, blur, and we're going to take a Gaussian blur and around 72. That's pretty good. And then we'll go to filter again, liquify. And now it comes to the funny part, just pulling this around, trying to make it look like a, you know, smoky feeling. We wanna get it so it looks like, you know, this wind and turbulence here, and, you know, there's stuff flying around. This is basically just how you do that. <laughs> so you wor work around with the, the just the normal liquify tool and you make sure you get as much of this as you want and then yeah this, this is just how you do. You spend as much time as you want here and then you get a, a good effect basically. So let's start to look a little bit smoky. I'm not gonna go too hard on it because you see here you can get it like even different layers of colors with this tool so that's pretty good it's all on how much time you want to spend here so I don't want to spend that much time so there you have it two smoke tutorials two lightning tutorials so hope that guys that helped you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow then for the next tutorial and make sure to subscribe and tell all your friends to subscribe as well because that will keep us in the business of making tutorials for you all if you have anything you wanna know about or anything like that just write a comment and I'll make sure to make a tutorial as fast as I can so thank you everybody and see you tomorrow